it's Mrs. Letty. I'm here to read you another story called Bears in the Night. It's written and illustrated by Stan and Jan Bernstein. This book is another book that has those special words called prepositions in them. Remember, a preposition tells you where something is. This book is going to tell us where the bears are. On each page, you'll see those special prepositions highlighted in pink tape. See if you can find them all. Bears in the night. In bed. You can see all those little bears are tucked in in bed. But they hear a sound and it says, Whoo! What do you think might make that sound? Whoo! Take a, about 10 seconds and I'd like you to make a prediction. A prediction is a guess. When you guess what is going to happen or who it's going to be, you would say, my prediction is that a snake is making that sound. Who do you think is making that sound? What is your prediction? Out of bed. See, they're getting out of bed. Out of bed, to the window, at the window. Out the window. Out the window, down the tree, out the window, down the tree, over the wall. Over the wall, under the bridge, under the bridge, around the lake. Under the bridge, around the lake, between the rocks. Through the woods. Out the window, down the tree, over the wall, under the bridge, around the lake, between the rocks, through the woods, up Spook Hill. This is when we're going to find out who made that sound. What is that? Hmm. your prediction? Did you predict that it was going to be an owl making that sound? That's who it was. It was an owl. Hoo, hoo, hoo. And you can see they, the owl scared those little bears. So they go down Spook Hill, through the woods, between the rocks, Around the lake, under the bridge, over the wall, up the tree. In the window. Back in bed. And they can still hear the owl going, cozy in bed right where they should be while their grown-up is downstairs sewing. I hope you enjoyed our story.
bears in the night. Again, those were some prepositions. Have a great day.